The ruling of the Grassroots Congress and the People's Democratic Party are now mounting pressure on the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, ahead of Saturday's April 15 governorship rerun election in Adamawa State. The supporters of the two political parties thrown into the INEC office in Yola, demanding for credible and acceptable polls at the end of the exercise. Speaking on behalf of the APC demonstrators, Mr. Smart Edward, the Supreme Leader of Native Worldwide, called on Adamawa electoral resident commissioner not to be partisan but should summon courage that people vote count all the speakers expressed confidence that their preferable candidate emerged victorious at the end of the exercise we have come to an office here to affirm that binani has a date with history binani has been chosen by almighty god to lead and no form of blackmail should be used against a woman going into politics. We are all sons and daughters born of women. It's of people be truncated to see voters' opinions become relegated to just the dustbin. Impossible. I thank you all for, for taking this bold step. This is what democracy needs. People stand up, enforce their rights, insist on it, and people, institutions like INEC, make sure that things are done in a proper way, dispassionate way, and in this instance, the PDP is the winner in Adamawa. The elections haven't been declared in concrete and a supplementary election has been fixed. It is obvious that uh, different interest groups, particularly political parties, will continue to make demands. And uh, these demands have been expressed in form of this procession. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.